Hello and welcome to GED Coaching Analysis. In this video I'm going to have a look at how the nines work from a line out and indeed how the backfield is managed. So the place that asks with a halfway line out is an England throw in. And you'll notice at the front of the line out we've got Lloyd Williams highlighted in yellow, we've got Adams in the backfield in black and red and we've also got Halfpenny in the backfield in black and red. Those are our two defenders. This is a 13-2 defence. So what we're going to see from Lloyd Williams is that he's going to hold the edge initially and then he goes in just on the left-hand side of the mall. And the reason he does that is because he wants to make sure that in that space between the mall and the next defender that there's no space for England to be able to come back inside. So it's really, really important that he does do that. Now, once the ball is gone, he then immediately reloads back to the edge. You'll notice him in yellow, just making his way slowly back to the angle. And what his job there is... If England run an 11 play, which is hitting this first phase and then back the other way, and there's a video up on screen for you to look at that in more detail, or if they play a 21 play, where they've got two phases on the corner, again, there's a video of that, he's always there to make sure there's a fast play on the edge. So England can't then attack the slower players on the edge. They've got a, they've got a fast guy then. Quite a few teams use that as a strategy. Next up, we've got Dan Bigger, who's centre field. Notice he's in pink. Now, slowly, he's going to make his way back to the edge. So he's done his job. England have attacked out to the edge. He now is going to go and join uh, Lloyd Williams. Now what that means is Wales will have nine on the edge. He'll have ten on the edge. And they'll also slowly work 12 out there as well. Nine, ten, twelve on the right-hand side of the field. Left-hand side of the field. They'll have their 13 outside centre. They'll also have their 14 up in the line. In the backfield, half penny plus Adams, that enables them then to have plenty of, of space either side of the line. And that's how teams want to balance their, their defences, where they've got a good bit of pace on both sides. Notice we've now got Adams pushing up slightly. He believes that there's a potential need for him to push up on the right side. And you'll also notice that constantly, if you just notice Lee Halfpenny, so he's highlighted in, in red just on this side, notice he's constantly moving, constantly looking as to where you, you might go. Now this isn't a pendulum defence. This is a 13-2 defence, but it has some features that he would share with a pendulum when there's a need. So he's always mindful of when you might press up. But what he's going to try and do is hold in as much depth of England do kick, he's there to cover. That kick finds grass and half penny is in a decent position to be able to cover it. Now, the reason England have kicked centre field is because of this 13-2 defence. It's, it's a strategy that's being used to try and move these players around. It's quite an effective strategy. Because from centre field, it's actually really hard to exit. You go the furthest away from the touchline, potentially difficult to give, give passes either side with defenders chasing them down. Luckily, players like Halfpenny have got a big kick on them, so he's able to take Wales then up around about the halfway, which is a decent outcome, but he's always going to chase his kick. Now, because of this situation, you notice the Lloyd Williams in yellow is on the left-hand side. Bigger then takes over. He ends up in the backfield. So if I just take that back slightly for you, Notice we've got Lloyd Williams highlighted in yellow on the right-hand side of the field. So he was holding that edge. Now, because Halfpenny's kicked, the rule that Wales will be following right now is that because he's kicked it, he's going to chase his own kick and get players on side uh, unless somebody else is able to do it before him. Lloyd Williams is going to push across with him. And this is partly why England have actually chosen to then kick back the other way because they know that there's going to be an opportunity with players in a position. And as you can see, we've got Adams, who was backfield, has now swapped with Bigger into, into the backfield, and Bigger would be a better uh, player for the kick exit in this type of situation. So quite uh, quite clever changes for Wales. Uh, the kick itself and it doesn't quite come off, uh, ends up as a 22-metre exit for Wales. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you've got any questions, particularly about the 13-2 defence or any other area of the game, I'll be more than happy to get back to you. See you again. As always, the best way to support my channel is to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. It's the best way to help the channel grow.